relationship between trust and, <laughs> and failure, which is a, is a difficult uh, issue to handle. You have to be careful here. Uh, I've, we've been operating since uh, the beginning of January 2008, so we have a bit of experience now, three years down the road, and uh, or two, two, two plus. <laughs> and I've found that it's important, perhaps, to um, to support very sort of um, how to say projects that that have a very good chance of success in the beginning because it's important to build that trust and to uh, make people uh, have confidence in luck as a, as, a, as a concept and as a method. So you want to perhaps start out on a very secure foot and try and make sure that everything is handled very, very carefully and, and uh, develops into a success. Then a little bit it's also important perhaps not to inaugurate too many projects because you can become so busy that you have a hard time keeping all the balls in the air. So uh, that, that's a word of advice perhaps. The, the other thing I thought about when you, Tom, mentioned the fact that we all belong to many networks and we all have different concepts of community depending on our vantage from where we see it. I think that the lag uh, can also be a very good um, place to uh, generate knowledge and uh, statistics and, and facts concerning the individual communities. Because a lot of the discussions about um, whether a project is viable or whether a project is necessary and so on kind of bases itself in what the situation, the status is. And often a baseline is missing. Lag can be very helpful in this respect. I think that was it. Also, I, uh, I wanted, I, I really liked your point, Christina, about if you go alone, you can go fast, but if you go together, you can go far. It's worth remembering.